Hey what's going on guys, hope that one will be fine and welcome back to another tutorial. So in this video I'm going to explain to you that how we can add it direct cut. So we will create a button here and that added button will open up a new form or new page and populate all the data according to the ID. So that's what we are going to create. So let's jump in inside your Visual Studio Code. The first thing that we are going to do is to create the API for the cat contact detail, right? So let's go inside your app and uh, create a function. Uh, so you can follow up the uh, convention like first create the routes even that's a better way so let's go inside your routes and api.php and let's write here get contact detail so let's give it here get contact detail and let's grab here the the, the route the get request that is and we have to define here the route name which is get underscore contact which includes the id right so on base of id we can fetch the result so we uh, and the name of the method in my case, which is contact controller and let's define here the method which is get underscore contact So I'm gonna grab this method and let's create inside your contact controller So you can press control P and that's gonna open up and type contact controller so you can come up here So inside contact controller uh, underneath the get underscore context method So let's create here public function and get underscore contact which includes the ID which is coming from the uh, which is passed here and let's give it the uh, inside the method and uh, the method is very simple all you need to do is to find the id so let's do it uh, uh, create a variable let's so get contact equal to contact and find so find the id right and let's uh, give it the response so return the response in json and let's pass up here the uh, get contact all right so that's the end of our api so in the next uh, uh, step we are going to follow is to um, work with the javascript inside components so that's what i'm going to explain in the next um, i'm just taking a pause for one minute or two minutes i will be right back all right guys so now i'm back and now i need to do here is to go inside my resources javascript components so first you have to define uh, it is to create a component let's give it the name of the component which is added uh, uh added contact dot view all right so let's grab everything that add contact dot view have so let's grab a pair and uh, even uh, okay that's fine that's that's makes sense too so just remove the methods inside here so i need i don't need any save image method i don't need any save contact method so just change that to be get contact component loaded right and uh, next you need to do is to that's all fine i believe so we have our data we have our url we have empty methods and also i need to just remove this uh, to avoid the errors I just for a while I just need to remove that all and also remove this ID right okay and uh, I also need to remove this save image because we haven't defined um, inside the method so also remove that and let's go inside your app.js where we have to define the uh, uh, routes so let's define import the component first so I'm going to grab from top and change that to be added contact from and make this added contact let's pass inside the routes array so go down here and let's copy that all put it right here and make that to be get underscore contacts um, just make this to be get underscore contacts and just grab down here and also define the component so this component is actually coming from the added contact right so let's go inside your contact list where you have all the listings shown so i need to create here a router dash link inside the uh, contact listing so let's define here our anchor tag but in the uh, in case of you you have to use something which is known as router dash link uh, which comprises of two and that two makes our um, uh, which has two objects it's the first which is uh, which is the name so let's define here the name which is get underscore contact so make this get the name of get underscore contact and i just need to make my names to be get underscore contact right and uh, let's pass up here the params so i'm going to define the uh, params of id so id contact dot id all right and let's give it the class of uh, 
BDN BDN dash primary BDN dash small for the small button and there should be something wrong because I forget to put the double quotes yeah okay now I need to define here the name of the button which is added and now if I just try to run npm run dev and just to test this out everything is working fine so let's go and run it okay so let's go here and inspect the console go to the home page refresh it and go to the contact and there we go so we have our added once i hover on on it you see that down to it you see get underscore contact but there is no any id right if i just try to click on it that's still going to show me the form but the issue that we have we need to uh, we need to pass with the id so you need to go to your um, uh, added contact and let's define here the um, something which is the id inside sorry inside the app.js where we have our path so how, how we are going to do this let's define here slash get underscore contact and inside path you need to define here slash added and that should have the id so in order to pass the id you need to do that and question mark right let's run that again npm run dev and now we have to uh test that if we don't get any error all right so let's go to the home and refresh this and if i go to the um, contacts and let's click on the added and now down here you could see that you have added the id let's go to the added id 26 so we are working so we are navigating from one page to the another so one step has been done that we can now go to one page to the another the next step is that we need to populate the data inside the form so let's go back inside your added contact dot view so we have our data which is uh, where we have defined the v model with the contact dot name we have contact dot email but we, we haven't defined any API or a method where we can extract the results from the uh, from the previous data, right? So let's define here uh, a, a method which is known as um, load. Let's load the data for with with the ID. So what I'm going to do here, um, let's inside the methods, let's define here uh, load data, and inside this method let's define here the url equal to this dot url and uh, define here slash api slash get underscore contact slash dollar this dot route dot params dot id and uh, and now this actually is getting the id from the router and um, let's with the help of axios we can get the uh, get the uh, get request from the api so this dot axios dot get url which is coming from the data so define the url and now the response dot then um that should be a semicolon sorry about that so dot then and let's define here promise which is the response so inside response we are getting the uh, um let's do here is um close the bracket right here so this should be the response and uh, inside here i'm gonna pass my um what i should say okay so here i have to define this dot contact equal to response that that we're getting from the data and let's let's console the log and test this out and we need to call this method so this method should be defined inside the created hook uh which should be right after the data let's define the uh, created so this should be the method and let's define here uh created and let's load the data so this dot load data and uh, saves it and put the comma down here right okay so let's test again th uh, this by npm run dev all right so it's 
running and let's go back to the home page and refresh this uh, it's paused in the bigger right okay let's go into the console co contact and let's click on the added button and you can see now we have our data populated so we have our name we have our email we have our designation contact number we have our biography the uh, the thing which is missing actually is a choose file i need to display the image so the trick here is just go um after the biography i need to define something which is the image source let's define up here uh down to the biography so i'm going to create here form dash group and uh, inside that form dash group i need to also apply a check let's apply a check that if there is an image so v dash if and that's going to check if the contact dot image is defined and uh, let's pass here the image source but we need to do here is to pass with the help of colon source and uh, let's define here the back ticks um, so i'm using here some es6 standard so let's define inside here let's pass here the url so the url plus slash and contact dot image right and i need to define here let's give it the alt of image to make the width equal to 100 and let's give it here the height of 150 right saves it and just run npm done uh, npm run dev and test this out that should be worth actually sorry about that so i need to run it again yeah so let's run this again npm run dev go to the home and refresh and go to the added and you could see there is something which is still missing it says 404 and uh, image tag now we have our slash images slash gallery but we have no any public so what I'm gonna do here is to just grab this and let's define here save it um, right so i just need to add another contact let's add the contact and test it might be uh, it, it it's possible that i have deleted or haven't uploaded any image right uh or it's it's not not saved to the directory right so let's test it out by creating a new image so you can grab anything let's define i just grab the screenshot successfully submit go to my contacts it display up here let's go inside your database so I could see that now we have our images slash gallery slash this, right? And uh, if I just go to the edit and it still not works. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is let's go to the public images gallery and this is our screenshot, right? If I just cut this out and rename her and uh, I need to verify if it's So the part should be images gallery, right? So I need to go to my XAMPP HD docs Laravel dash view dash Laravel and public. And this should be inside images gallery. Yeah, this should be following the path. Yeah, it, it, it is following the path. Now we have two publics, which is wrong approach. So what I'm going to do here is um, I'm going to delete this public folder from here and let's go back to my contact controller. I need to change the uh, path for the image. Let's make this just remove this public. Keep remember that inside your contact controller where you're saving the image. So you just need to remove the public and now just uh, I, I need to delete all the data and uh, now test this out and go to my add contact and let's save it something submits that it saves save successfully the path is fine which is images gallery and now if i go back to the public 
inside images inside gallery and now we have our image right so let's check with the added and if I go to my contacts and uh, added it you see now we have our image right so we can also now see the source of all the images we have also getting all the objects right so that's really much it for this video in the next video i'm going to explain you how we can update our record by just simply clicking the submit and we can change the data and to test this so thank you for watching this video and in the next video i will we have a last topic which is about the updated most expectedly and uh, and later on i have other things to explain a lot of tutorials on the head right now and we'll explain after the planning of this whole crud functionality and that's it i want to see you for the next time